Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Saturday and I'm gonna do a weekend in my life vlog for you guys. I actually just finished my last vlog yesterday, so if you missed that one, you can go check it out up here. I'm so happy to be back vlogging for you guys. I have just missed it. And yeah, today's Saturday. Today's been kind of just like a slow morning and early afternoon. What time is it? Oh my God, shit, it's already 1.30. Okay, well, I woke up around, I think I woke up at like 11 today. I just took a shower and I just did a tan, which is why I'm wearing this robe right now while it dries on me. But today I wanna go out and look at some stuff for the outdoor balcony. Um, so I'll show you guys like what it looks like now, a clip of that, because we haven't really done much to it because to be honest, it really hasn't even been warm enough here yet, even though it's like mid-May, to enjoy the balcony very much. But it's, you know, getting to that point and I want to do more stuff to it. So one thing that you'll see out there right now is the egg chair, but since we put in Jared's grill and this little grilling table that we got recently, the egg chair does, it just looks huge and it doesn't really fit. And we honestly don't really use that. We always just sit on the little corner couch area. And I feel like that just makes more sense in terms of like space for this balcony. I don't have as much room as I did on my previous house balcony. So some things had to be adjusted. But one thing I did that I really wanted to get was order an outdoor rug. My last one for my old balcony doesn't actually fit on this one. It's This balcony is a lot like um, narrower, I guess you could say. It's like longer, but it's shorter. So I just ordered that today. It was really inexpensive from Target. I'll put in a picture on the screen of the one I got. So that's going to come in the mail like probably in like a week or so. And I'll show you guys when I get that. But I want to go, I think, to like World Market and look at some of their outdoor stuff that they have. And hopefully this weekend make like a few changes to the balcony. I need to like clean it up and wipe some things down, and like tidy it and get things, get some pillows set up and all that stuff. So I wanted to vlog that. But I'm about to go upstairs and get ready for the day. I'll show you guys a little outfit of the day with whatever I end up wearing today. It's kind of like a cloudy, it was raining earlier, but it's just kind of like a gloomy, cloudy day. So I'm probably just gonna wear something super relaxed today. But I'm gonna have a bagel and maybe make a coffee and a little bit after that. Okay, hear me out on this. The other week I had a bagel, but I didn't have any cream cheese or any butter. And we had pesto in the fridge. This is when I was in Austin, Texas at our Airbnb. And my friend Sarah was like, you could put some pesto on it. In my head I was like, could be good, could be a little weird. It was one of the best things I have had on a bagel in so long. <laughs> I don't know if it was just a really good bagel, really good pesto. I put a little bit of avocado oil, some pesto, like a thin layer of pesto on top of the toasted bagel, and then just some salt and pepper. And now since I got home, I have been recreating pesto bagels and I literally purchased pesto just to make pesto bagels. So I have been adding a really thin layer of cream cheese to the bottom. Here it is, here's my creation. I did a little, I did a few dots of sriracha and then I just did salt and pepper on top of the pesto. And let me tell y'all, if you like pesto, try this. It's really good and it's something different to put on a bagel that I never really thought of. outfit it's like 60 degrees ish so i have a little corduroy over i might take it off i just let my hair naturally air dry i've kind of been doing that this week and just seeing how it behaves i just have on a black little crop top and then this thrifted corduroy little jumper and this matches like everything and i always wear it for like a simple over layer and i would just have a pair of high-waisted jeans super simple and my shoes are so comfy and the star of my outfit today. These are my shoes of the day. They are by Vivea and they are these fluffy mules. You can honestly like wear them as a slipper but they do have a hard bottom. So for me, these are my new everyday comfy shoes. And of course, because they're neutral, they just go with everything. And I did choose the black because I didn't want them to get like as dirty as if I chose a super light pair. These are called the Round Toe Fluffy Patterned Mules. I have them in black. They also have them in cream as well as this like maroon burgundy color. And I wanted to shout out Vivea and say thank you so much for sponsoring this video. 
I am so excited to see a shoe company that is focused on sustainability while also being so cute. And Vivea has so many options from flats to heeled booties, to mules, to slippers. Their shoes are made from recycled materials and they also offer worldwide shipping. So any of you guys can order from them. They have thick cut natural herbal insoles with anti-slip rubber outsoles. The first shoes I'm showing you guys are the square toe slide heels. I have the shade Almond. They're kind of a darker nude and these are actually the shoes I'm gonna be wearing to my sister's wedding. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. The heel isn't too high and they're extremely comfortable and personally I think this color just matches with everything. They're made from natural rubber and when I tell you guys, I was so surprised at just the comfort level of all the shoes that they sent me. The next pair are the square toe fluffy slides. These literally feel like slippers, but they have a hard bottom so you can wear them out and about. They're super soft and made from natural latex. They are breathable, flexible, and stretchy. I didn't even need to break any of my shoes in, let me just say that. They have various toe caps that meet the demands with all foot types. I personally have wider feet and they still fit me so they're not too narrow. The next ones might be my favorite. I love the look of this heel on these. So these are the Melissa perforated heeled boots. I have the color cream ivory and I love it because the toe and the heel is a little bit darker than the main color of the boot. When I tell you guys these are so freaking comfortable, it feels like a sock boot. There really is nothing to break in. They're so cozy and it just hugs your foot like a glove. And then lastly, these are the Erica round toe fluffy pattern mules that I showed you guys that I'm wearing in my outfit of the day. They're completely lined with a fuzzy inside and they match with everything. And I know I'm not gonna get these like super dirty because they're this black color and I can wear them with everything and I don't have to worry about them. And as always, I have a discount for you guys. So Vivea is giving my viewers 18% off. The code is LIND. Thank you again to Vivea for sponsoring this video. Make sure you guys check out my code and my link down in the description box to go and shop and support them. They are sustainable, they are so comfortable, and they are absolutely my new favorite shoes. I'm probably gonna go over to World Market and look at some of their outdoor stuff. I just stopped by World Market, had a great time. I filmed like a little clip in there. I just love that store. It's such a pretty and like appealing, what's the word? Like, I don't wanna say aesthetic, but like it's just such like a calming store for me too. I love going there and like finding new things. I have so much fun like going through all the aisles. I tried to contain myself. I didn't get a crazy amount of stuff. So I'll probably show you guys my haul from there tomorrow because by the time I get home, I'm gonna be getting ready for a dinner date with Jared. And I don't want to be like even more rushed. So I'll definitely do a little haul for you guys tomorrow in the vlog. I also just went to Krispy Kreme to pick up some donuts for us. Jared texted me that he was still having a craving. We were going to go earlier this morning and then he had to work for a couple hours. And then I was like doing stuff to like three something. But I did get them because I was already in that area for World Market. So I picked those up. I might try to just wait until tomorrow for like breakfast. A little Sunday morning treat. Right now I'm going to make sure my camera doesn't fall over. I'm gonna stop by Home Goods on my way home just cause I wanna see if they have like, oh shoot, shoot. Okay, gotta talk to you guys at home. Okay guys, it is Sunday now. Last night got a little bit busy as I was telling you guys in the car on my way home from Home Goods, which I did get some stuff there too. Um, some things that I think will be cute to add to the balcony. So I'll show you guys that stuff later this afternoon. Jared and I went on a date to this Italian place in Boise called Ala Vida. It's one of my favorites. If you guys live here or are ever here, it's a really good spot. It was so yummy. So we did a little dinner date. I came home and I just like really quickly got ready. And we came home and just like watched something. I honestly fell asleep on the couch, went to sleep. And now it's Sunday. I'm going to go work out at noon. 
Um, it's about 11.20 now, so I'm gonna leave in a few minutes. I'm gonna eat a little something and put my hair up, but I'm wearing my cute little pink, well, it's kind of purpley. It's more of like a magenta set from Girlfriend. I love this set so much. I'll link this set in the description box down below if any of you guys are interested. It's gonna be 85, I think, today, and we have absolutely not been in the 80s. It's been super cold, honestly. Today's like the one day out of this week, at least this past week, that it's like super warm. So when I get back from my class, Jared and I are gonna go on a bike ride, like adventure day, it's gonna be so fun. We're gonna take Squirtle. We're gonna like stop by some restaurants and maybe like, go to a bar or two and um, ride around, go to the park probably, enjoy the sunshine. I can't wait for that. We've been talking about it like all week. We're like, Sunday, it'll be so warm and we can do a bike ride. We've only gotten to do one bike ride yet this spring and it actually was pretty warm that day, but it just wasn't that long that we had before the sun went down. So I'm happy to have like a full day where it's actually nice to be able to do a bike ride. So today will be fun and then later today, or maybe even into tonight, I wanna like set up the balcony um, and show you guys some of the changes to that. I probably won't do it like all today, but I wanna put some of the new stuff out there and just like do a little haul for you of what I got. Okay guys, I'm home from my orange theory class now. It was very hard. I'm already feeling a little sore in the arms, but always glad that I went. But I figured I could take this time to show you guys the stuff I got yesterday and do my uh, little balcony things and a few other random things haul so let's do it i'll do my stuff from world market first this vase i actually already have this i purchased it like about a month ago and i'm so in love with it i know this might sound weird but i have never found a vase that makes so much sense to me first of all it's just like a cool shape second of all this vase is really tall and it just holds like the perfect amount of flowers it's also so pretty i always like cut them but they're still long and sometimes they like fall you know what i mean so i think the taller the better honestly for vases and this one i've been liking it so much that i wanted to get another one for because i sometimes have like two bouquets or just something upstairs so i just i wanted to get another one in case they like discontinue it or something this is 21.99 and it is I think it's so freaking cute. It looks beautiful with like any of the flowers that I've put into it. Okay, I got an LED flameless candle. I've bought a couple of these from World Market before. You just put in some batteries. I like to use reusable batteries and when the candle's getting low, I know it's time to just charge up the batteries again. And that's a great like cycle of just kind of reusing this for as long as it will last. So I love these ones. They are a little pricier, like this is 12 bucks, but it'll last you, you know what I mean? Like so long. So I love putting these um, on the balcony or outside. I have one out front on the um, front doorstep, but I got this one for some of the pretty, like I'll show you guys this later when we actually like show stuff on the balcony, but uh, for some of the like glass things that I have, I just love having like candles on the balcony. And I always set them to a timer, so they turn on like when the sun's going down and they stay on for I think about five hours and then they go off and do it again the next night. Love that setting, love a timer. Whoever came up with that for like, uh, candles you are amazing. Okay. I did get tempted to buy some more reusable napkins at world market as well I have some of these already from there. They're like an orangey color. There's nothing wrong with them They do get a little like wrinkly in the wash But yeah, basically I use reusable napkins instead of I don't use paper towels I don't use like paper napkins or anything like that. I just basically use these and wash them I think they're so pretty too. I feel like it would be fun to just have something for like summer I'm a sucker for like a farmhouse checker I know it's basic, but I just love it. And I love you guys. Know I love a yellow, I love a mustard. So these ones were I think like three or $4 each and I got six of them just because we run through them kind of fast. Like sometimes I'll have half of them in the wash and we'll be kind of missing in action when we need them for dinner. You can definitely find good stuff like that at World Market if you guys are trying to like not buy paper towels anymore. I definitely like challenge you to, that's like one of the biggest things that has made a huge difference in my trash can and my amount of things that I throw away is getting rid of paper towels and just using stuff like this and um, reusable dishcloths for cleaning. Uh, yeah, you just don't need them, honestly. Okay, and of course you guys know I can't go anywhere without purchasing a candle, but I wanted to like go with the theme of the new rug. It's kind of like a corally orangey. I mean, it's like a peachy coral, I don't freaking know, but I wanted to kind of go with that like color theme i guess for the things that i found for the balcony so i got this candle and it's coconut milk mango um it was 14.99 smells pretty good but honestly i got it because it has 
this lid and i really like being able to i had this problem last year like i had some really pretty like citronella candles and stuff that were really like big and pretty on the balcony but honestly in the summer a bunch of dust and like things fly into the top of the candle and it's like white so it just looks you know i'm that type of person that i'll look at that and be like that just looks so bad so if i have a, a lid to the candle jar that i can just cover it and that won't happen also sometimes like bugs fly in there and die in there uh just you know you never know what's gonna happen so i got that and i think that's cute and i'm gonna add some like little decor things to the balcony that nothing really right now out there like looks cute everything like i said because we haven't really been using it until like very recently so i haven't even really brought out like all the pillows and all this stuff okay next i got it's actually upside down i was holding it like this but i got this clear um pillar i think it's a pillar candle holder yeah a pillar candle holder i have a couple pillar candles upstairs and i have a little thingy like this for one of them but not the other one that's in the guest room i don't know not that you need that like the candles functioning fine on its own but uh for example like it kind of looks like this but it's not a um a fake one it's a real candle i just use them for decor actually it just looks so pretty and i thought these were really cute they have if you guys are into like the taper candles and the little candlesticks. I know that stuff is like really kind of like trendy right now in home decor. World Market has such good stuff. Okay, this is absolutely one of my favorite things that I got. This beautiful vase. It was $21.99. Now y'all also know um, I've become a hoe for a decorative vase. I will have real plants on the balcony once it's not like um, 30, 40 degrees here at night and the plants will still not be doing well whenever it gets to probably like in the 60s at night and it's not dropping below that i will put real plants out there but i just i don't want to risk it it's still too cold um so i got just a little fake bouquet i got one of these yellow and then i got two of these ones which have like green and orange in there and once again i kind of have like a color theme going of just like corals yellows and even some orange i definitely did not need this but i do this thing where i think that i need all these planter pots like cute planter pots whenever i see them i'm like i have a plant that could fit that and i just thought this one was really pretty and i always look at the prices too because sometimes i was saying this in my like target haul the other week sometimes you can get really ripped off with like planter pots and they're so unnecessarily expensive for no reason this one was only 10 bucks granted it is pretty small but i thought it was so beautiful neutral and it'll match with like everything so I think I have some like smaller plants that maybe I'll even move like onto the balcony. We'll see what real plants I end up putting up there, but I probably won't do that until June. This is the Alfafia Everyday Shea Bubble Bath. I ran out of my bubble bath and I love a good uh, Epsom salt bath. So I got this for that. It's a lavender scent and I feel like it's going to last me a long time because it's huge. And then this is the outdoor wood finish um, furniture protector. The sun really does weather it and make it like, and make it lighter over time. So hopefully that will prevent that. I don't know, we'll see. This is the only thing I got from their like drink section. This is an elderflower syrup mixer. Um, I have this in the rose flavor. They have like an elderflower rose one that I actually have in my fridge right now. And I really like this. It's kind of similar to a simple syrup. It just has elderflower in it. And this one is, I don't think it has like a flavoring. It's just the elderflower syrup. So this is really good for cocktails, mocktails. Back to my plant pot addiction. This one's so freaking cute. Um, if you guys are looking for these, like, I don't know how to explain it. These like bubbly looking decor and pots world market has a ton of that stuff right now i have a really cute one in my bedroom that's white that looks kind of similar to this but actually i have a plant that is still in its plastic pot that i got that will i think will fit this pretty much perfectly so that's why i wanted to get this one um it was 14.99 i think it's so cute all right finishing up here i know i've <laughs> shown a lot of stuff this is actually more of the like decor stuff for the balcony now this stuff's all from home goods which had a decent selection they didn't really have much like outdoor furniture but they had kind of like decor things and stuff like that so i got this it has a little uh, thing on the back where you can hang it up 
and we have this whole wall out there above the couch that doesn't have anything on it and i just kind of thought this would be cute and like the orange will tie in with the rug and everything like that so i thought that was cute and it was only 16.99 and then this i thought was so adorable too it's kind of like a similar thing but it's more of like a decorative tray i think i want to put this on the couch when we're like not sitting on it um and put like a candle and maybe like a a plant or something i don't know we'll see as like a little on top of a blanket you know what i'm saying like i feel like it'll come together okay um in my head i, I have a vision this was 14.99 and lastly i'm gonna have to back up to show you guys this because this is the largest thing that i got i guess it's like a stool uh it could also be used as like a little outdoor table i'm not really sure it's probably more of a table actually because they had it in a smaller size but it's this orange color and it has this like rattan top. Um, this was $59.99. By the way, it was a little more pricey, but I feel like for, you know, like an outdoor table or something, that's not bad. I think I'm going to put this in the corner where like the um, egg chair and stuff is right now. I might even put like a little um, pillow on it or something and just make it like a little cozy corner. And then if people come over and we need extra seating, we can just take stuff off of it and bring it over as like a little stool. So I thought it would be like a multifunctional item. That's a little haul. Um, I'm gonna go get ready now and figure out what I'm gonna wear today for our bike ride. And then we'll probably leave in a bit and i can't vlog while i'm actually on the bike because i'm not that skilled i can't even use my phone or like anything when i'm on my bike or i like completely will fling off mostly because it's a cruiser so it's not like super like what's the word it's not like really sturdy it kind of like flings around like this but i'm gonna vlog like as much as i can little clips when we're like at the park <laughs> are you going on a bike ride the bikes are loaded up squirtle's carriage he's ready for action Ready for riding? Oh, you were so close, baby. You were so close. It is a little steep right here. We did a couple like quick changes to the balcony like moved to the rug and just like put some of the new stuff out um i showed a little bit of that but my camera filled up since it's light outside now i want to show you guys um things that i added and just know that the rug isn't out there yet and that it's not like done or anything and we're gonna add lights and like i said some more plants and the rug will make it come together a lot more and things like that but i just want to show you guys in the daylight and look somebody is already enjoying <laughs> the balcony setup on this very nice day actually it's gonna be in the 70s today it already is we are very happy about that so first thing i did you can kind of see i moved this rug which is not going to stay because it's not even an outdoor rug and it was just like put here temporarily basically it's really faded so this is just here until the new one comes and then i'm going to move the new one probably going to go out to like here or something like that okay then we have this is like my favorite part it's so cute this is the little setup of the set from my old balcony but we had to remove one of the seats because it didn't fit so there was three and then it had like the um 
ottoman, but only two of them fit. Luckily, it fit kind of perfectly right in this little corner. This is also where we're gonna put the, um, that little hangy thing that I got, like right here. I think it'll look cute. Okay, and then I have a little blanket and just these pillows. This one's from World Market, but it's from like 2020. And that one's from Target. It used to be striped, but it's faded so much that it honestly just looks like an ivory pillow. And then that blanket, so cute. Um, I was sent that in a little pharmacy PR box, but it looks amazing out here, I think. And here's the table, which this is also from my previous balcony. This is from World Market, and I love it. Here's the little setup of the new vase and the flowers. I think it looks pretty cute right there. I might move it, but for now, I'm going to keep it, I think, right here. And then here's the little tray. I think it actually worked out really good because it covers up a few stains that are on this ottoman. And then, like, last night, we sat here, and we just moved it down to right here, so we can just do that. And I put, like some candles and these little i had these from before some just like tea light candles and the candle that i bought then this stuff is like subject to change it's just kind of here at the front right now but i have these two yellow lanterns with candles in there that are on a timer um love these these are from home goods i got these last year then i have this fake plant like i said until it's time to move out like real plants which i just don't feel like it's time yet it's still, still too cold at night so i have a little fake plant this one's from target and this is like the ottoman that was pretty much we were using this before the egg chair was here the egg chair fit better over here in the corner when this wasn't here but now it's actually too big so i showed you guys that yesterday it doesn't really fit but this was from that but i still like having this as like a little surface and like extra bench for if people come over this is the little grilling table thing jared had got a traeger grill for christmas so that's the little like cover box and then we just have this which is from honestly we just got this from ebay and it has like storage below which is really nice so we can keep kind of like random stuff for the grill under there and out of sight which i appreciate this isn't exactly the cutest thing ever you know what i mean but it had to be something that was like functional so we got this it has a lot of like storage and you can hang like tools from it and then lastly this is just what i put here for right now but I feel like ideally I want to have like hanging plants and stuff up here and we're going to put the lights up here. But I just have this here right now. I'm kind of thinking maybe I could do, I do have enough room for like some sort of a chair, but I don't know if we would actually, sorry if you can hear that construction. I don't know if we would actually use it that much. This could always move like a little bit more over here because the door stops right here. I just put quickly like some candles and also some this fake plant from Target and that little lantern thing. So that's what we have now. I can't wait to get the rug because it'll really just make this area like look a lot more cohesive and pretty. So I'll show you guys that when it's here. Hi guys, I'm sitting on the floor currently. Squirtle is here. I just wanted to end off this vlog. I just finished editing it and more to come. More to come on the decorating of the balcony and things like that. I always like showing you guys what I'm up to around the house and I've just had such a passion for sharing like interior and exterior design and not that I'm like a professional. It's just been one of my favorite things to share on Instagram and on here. And so I hope you guys like seeing that stuff. The balcony needs some more work, but it is a work in progress as uh, many things are. Give this vlog a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you made it until the end to let me know. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. I just love our community and I hope you guys are doing well and I'll see you very soon in the next video. Bye guys.